gave some facets of Justice Verma for the reason that while he was Chief Justice of Rajasthan High Court from 86 to 89, I happened to be a very young president of the bar, around, 80, around 36, and I was in the bar council. And the relationship between the bar and the Chief Justice is not always very congenial, sir, for a variety of reasons. Because a very rational approach of judges normally does not go down well with the bar. And the Honorable Chief Justice here has agreed, which is a very healthy, wholesome endorsement and energizing me. But I can tell you, that was the most difficult period of Rajasthan High Court and Justice Verma, unforced sublimity, transparency, and accountability. His Lordship found a way out that original petitions will be handled by two judges. Something that was criticized, but within their hearts, every lawyer agreed that was the only solution at that point of time. He will be remembered ever by the country and judicial fraternity for what he has done. His judgments have impacted society in an exceptional manner and well regarded. Look at his wisdom, knowledge. Look at his respect for constitutional institutions. He yielded to the expedient situation, found a solution and resolution through a judicial order but did not permit the order to graduate to an incursion in the domain of legislature that alone has competence to frame law. Democracy can be best nurtured. It can blossom. It can impart, impart healthy impact societally and for welfare of the people if constitutional institutions are in sync with each other. They confine their actions to the limits set by the Constitution and to serve the larger public interest, they are in sync with each other. Sir, I would indicate any transgression by any constitutional institution, however refined, however subtle, however known in visual, creates a ripple that becomes, unfortunately, a tsunami. I will end by indicating that Justice Verma has laid a foundation by his work, action, judgments, and demeanor. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you.